Hello, this is Trevor Lewis, and this is another video from the Voyager Middle School Steam Lab. This is an important video in Inkscape for how to uh, mirror things. So um, we often use that that term in like chemistry or or um, those types of things of chirality, which means sort of like handedness. Uh, your right hand and your left hand are not interchangeable. They're mere images of each other. So a lot of times when we are making things, and the laser cutter especially, we want to cut them out uh, in reverse because we're cutting the back side. So this happens when we have like a mirror and we're engraving through the silver on the back of the mirror so that when we see through the mirror we can see it. Or if we are using t-shirt material, um, we often will cut through the back side of the heat press t-shirt material and it's on a backing so then we can peel off the parts we don't want on the shirt and use that that backing to hold it together until we get it on the shirt and that way that the actual heat press material goes directly on the shirt and we can heat press it to the shirt and it makes a fin finished product. So depending on how we do things, sometimes we need to reverse things. So let me show you how this works in Inkscape. It might look a little different depending on what version of Inkscape you're using. I got a little confused by it when I first opened this new version of Inkscape. Uh, the old version had sort of two triangles back to back um, to let me know that I was going to take that one triangle and flip it over a line. But if I click right here, the select tool, then I actually get those buttons back and they weren't there before. so. They're helpful to, to look for. They're in uh, this version of Inkscape. There are these little orange lines here, okay. And you've got rotations and you've got flips here, a horizontal flip and a vertical flip. So if I select like this text right here, um, again, if I'm cutting things out, sometimes it doesn't really matter if I cut out the design this way or cut out the design this way. But if there's text involved, it's going to really matter. So I can flip the text really easily. I can also flip objects. But if my whole design is all together, I would want to select the whole thing all together and flip it all at once because you'll notice that the star is underneath lab, but when I flipped it, it the star ended up underneath steam. So let's flip the whole thing together. You can see it flips over its combined center. Okay. Um, we can also use this along with the align and distribute menu uh, to make symmetrical objects. So here I've, I drew half of an object. Oops, wrong scroll bar. I'm going to hold shift and scroll over. I drew a center line here by holding down control to make sure it's nice and straight. And then I bezier tooled this sort of blobby shape, but I can make it nice and symmetrical so that these two center lines line up by duplicating. So I can do control D or duplicate like that. And then I can flip it, but it flips right on top. See that? So then if you have snap turned on, it's pretty easy to snap those things together, but you can also, let me just hold down control while moving one of them. So I'm going to select one and hold control so that I can slide it outwards. And again, snap helps a lot here, but I can also use align and distribute. And I can say, I want to align these things. Um, and I want to align them like this, where the left edge of the object to the right edge of the anchor. Okay. And if I wanted to combine these into one object, I should be able to go to path and choose union. And that should get rid of that little center line. But you can see that because it just barely lined up, that line is still there. See that? So to, to, to fix that problem, what you would do is you could either extend this a little bit over so that there's overlap. And then when you do that path union, you won't have that same problem. Okay. And that way you can create a symmetric object.